So there's two key factors um, that I want to touch on here around, around the, the management that we bring. Um, one of them is people and one of them is, is software. Really these two things combined is, is what allows for us to be on the front end um, to avoid any types of potential problems, um, to be that, to have that, that proactive side to the, 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 the management of the environment, um, and also the, to help with the reactive piece. So we're looking at the people. Why are the people important? Um, so first of all, a lot of people that are coming to us for a, a DAS opportunity, um, there's a reason, right? Most of the time it's because they either don't know how, um, don't have the resources, don't have the time, um, something along those lines, right? So who are we actually using to, to ensure that their experience is good? So in this case, we'll look at the rapid scale cloud. And again, they've got their DAS, in their situation, OS and apps. So in this case, from rapid scale, who, who's important here? Um, first of all, the, somebody that does you know, no Citrix and VMware. Our engineers are very, very, very good. This is what they do, right? Day in and day out, they are either doing migrations, implementations, or ongoing support for customers within their, within their environment. So from, from the people perspective, Citrix and VMware expertise. Um, have to have it, that's, that's, that's very important. Now, what are some other things that go into to this environment? So first of all, most people are gonna have, this day and age, 365. So whether we think 365 is a component of virtual desktops or not, you have to think, believe it is, because the Office Suite is gonna be installed in that image that they're accessing and that's being deployed um, as a virtual desktop. So therefore, there is a component to that um, and a management component that could be needed. In this case, we have in-house 365 engineers. That's all they do. Um, they are doing a lot of migrations, you know, a lot of bringing in, they're, they're constantly configuring it um, and, and, and working with the customers on that side. The next piece, which is, which is something that, that's a little different, would be SQL DBA. The reason why this is important, I can't tell you how many times I've seen the instance where there's an unhealthy SQL database and there's an application that's dependent upon that database, right? So in this case, if, there is, if, if, the, D, if the database is unhealthy, the application is gonna have performance degradation, therefore the customer is not gonna have a good end user experience. So we bring the DBA team in, we have a very solid DBA team, we're bringing them in to be proactive on the front end and run these health checks and configurations to make sure that that database is, is always optimized. Now this is certainly something that customer can do um, or have done for them, but having that in-house, it allows for us, and just from a very, very high level overview, allows for us, these people, to ensure that we are giving them the best end user experience possible um, by being on the front end with it. Now what are some other things that, that we look at? Software. Everything this day and age is, is about software. Software gives us data, software gives us reporting, software um, uh, alerts us if there's something wrong, uh, software uh, prohibits any type of antivirus or anti-malware from coming in, so there's a lot of things that this software does. So we are, at, at Rabisco, we are a solar wind shop. And what SolarWinds is, is essentially it's a, it's, a, it's a monitoring, a remote monitoring and antivirus software. So if we look at the environment, right? So we have the customer's cloud. And if we even look at, here's their business. Here's their office, right? Maybe they have a couple offices all connected into. Um, within each of these offices, they have people. These people have computers, right? Um, they have access points. They have a firewall. They have a switch, they have a router, right? All these things, uh, multiple workstations, what have you. So lots of devices that are going on that are using to access the cloud. Um, so the nice thing about, about what SolarWinds does, so SolarWinds, first of all, is going to be installed on these servers. SolarWinds will be installed here, here, and here. So one of the great advantages to SolarWinds is it has a very user-friendly um, portal where you're able to go in there and see all this reporting and see the data. Customer can have access to it. We're obviously watching it. And this portal, this actually ties directly into, our, here's our support, our, our support system, it ties directly into our, our ticketing system. So in the instance where we have it running on their servers, these are application servers and they get to be a, call it a 70% a utilization, which is going to trigger um, an alert. That alert is going to, obviously in here, is going to op automatically open up a ticket within our portal so we can go in there and fix that. What this does is before the customer knows that it's performing bad, we're in there, we're in the front of it, and we're going to go in there and fix it. Now, this is great for, the, for their cloud environment, right? We understand that. So if we're looking at the portal, we have our DAS, we have our infrastructure as a service, right? We have our apps. Um, that stuff is in there, it's run, it's installed on both of those. Now, going back to the actual location, right? The, the office. So the nice thing about SolarWinds is the same software that we're using to run patching and updating and, and antivirus here on the, on the servers. 
we're going to be using that same software to be running it on these servers, on these instances and nodes. So what this now allows for us to do, that's workstation. This now gives us a single portal to manage and have visibility into everything that's going on here, which is a very powerful tool because a lot of times, historically, if you wanted antivirus, you went and got AV. Um, if you need patching, you went and got a patch software, um, you know, update. So there'd be separate softwares for each one is doing separate roles. Now we have a singular all-encompassing software that ties directly into our ticketing system that helps to do this. So again, why is this important? We're managing this customer's experience. Their experience is, is, is determined by what we're doing on the front end and the back end um, to, be, to be proactive to ensure that they're not coming up on any type of issues. This software is gonna alert us, it's gonna allow us to do it. It's gonna be obviously tied into the ticketing system and we can go back and show the reports on this as well. So this is a big piece for us, um, a huge, huge advocate of this, especially when you start getting into the, the workstations um, and the stuff that's happening locally on their site. Um, that's, a, that's a massive advantage. Again, to round it out, people and software are the two factors that we're bringing here that we recognize is going to help provide a good, level, good experience for the customer. The software is there to alert us if there's something going wrong, and the people are there and the expertise to fix it um, and, and make sure that it doesn't happen moving forward. So again, two big things to, 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 to know there and understand and how we're doing it, best of breed technology and, and top talent across the board.